Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new PC Live video, and today we're going to look at a 4 as 1 deck, as it's called, using Verizian, Keldeo, Terrakian, and Cobalion all in one deck. Now, one of the main reasons I actually want to do a video on this deck is because we are going to be getting the Paradox Sword of Justice Pokemon in Temporal Forces, Iron Leaves, Iron Boulder, Iron Crown EX. I thought it was a great opportunity to play the single prize versions of the Sword of Justice before the Paradox Pokemon come out. And actually, this deck isn't bad right now in our meta because Verizian is very, very powerful against both Roaring Moon and Charizard EX. Now, Verizian does have the attack four as one. If Cobalion, Trachyon, and Kelio are on your bench, you can do 90 damage for one energy. Now, 90 damage is pretty good, but you're not knocking out Moon and Charizard, so how does this work? Well, thanks to Cobalion's ability, which you do need a Cobalion in play for the attack, you can do 30 more damage to active Dark Pokemon, meaning that your uh, Frisian is now doing 120 damage for one energy against Dark Pokemon, like Roy Moon and Charizard. Now, if you combine that with super effective glasses, you can 1-hit KO the Charizard EX with the Verizian. But you can already one-shot the Roaring Moon if they don't have a Capsule on. But if they have a Capsule on, you can put the super effective glasses on and still 1-hit KO the Roaring Moon. And that's how this deck operates. Now, the other attacker in the deck is going to be the Keldeo. It's got the attack 4 as 1 also. It does 50 damage. And if Cobalion, Trachian, and Verizian are on your bench, you can do 170 more damage, which is a nice clean 220 damage. So the problem is, in order to build up Keldeo, we are going to have to play double turbo, meaning that we're then only doing 200 damage. But 200 damage is still a nice chunk of damage to do. It allows you to two-shot most Pokemon with Keldeo and Verizian combined. And if we were to pair this with, you know, Defiance Band, we can at least do 230 damage. We can build up Keldeo with Raihan, which is going to be one of the main supporters in the deck. Raihan will be missed, but yes, it is a great way to power up the Keldeo. We can attach a water and then Raihan to it, or we can attach double turbo and Raihan to it or whatever. Basically, we just want to make sure we can use Raihan to charge up our Keldeo, and that's why we do play two Raihan in the deck. Those are the two attackers. We're not playing any fighting energy for Trakian, because it's really hard to build this thing up, because it doesn't require two fight or two colors. It requires two fighting, which is not as good. Now, before we get the video, shout to the sponsor Card Cavern TCG. Of course, if you're going to get any Pokemon TCTY packets, get them over at Card Cavern. If you're, of course, looking for the main set Temporal Forces when it does come out on Thursday. You can get them over at Card Cavern. If you get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code CODELDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Card Cavern. So shout out Card Cavern. Check them out. And if you're going to get any Temporal Forces code soon, get them at Card Cavern and use CODELDF. All right. Also, shout out to the second channel down below, too, for some extra content. I uh, did a tearless video where I looked at the uh, Vancouver meta. So if you're going to Vancouver regionals, definitely go check out that tier list video in the description on the second channel. But here is the list I got for the deck today. The main cards in the deck are all the Sword of Justice Pokemon. I do have the ability to play Bibarel and Jirachi still, despite our bench being a little clogged up, because ideally what you want to do is you want to have, you know, Verizian, Trakian, Cobalion, Keldeo in play. And then you probably want to have another one on your bench for when the active gets KO'd. A lot of the time you want to have two Verizian in play. So a lot of the time you're only able to get one at Bibarel down or, you know, one Jirachi in play. So your bench is a little limited with this deck. And that's one of the main issues with it. But we are still going to try to fit the two to Bibarel in the deck and the one of Jirachi. You could play Manaphy, I guess, because obviously Raiding Greninja could knock out two Pokemon at once. But we're keeping it simple. Now, I am playing the supporter count, pretty simple stuff, alongside a couple of extra ball cards. We are playing at two copies of Great Ball and two Artisan. We're just trying to play a ton of ways to set up the attack, because ideally, you want to just get these Pokemon out as quick as possible. Like, if you're going second, you can actually attack going uh, second in this matchup with 4 as 1. If you can get everything down in one turn, you can turn 1, do 70 damage. So it's nice to be able to just get Pokemon out. Great Ball can also find Bibarel sometimes, so I like having it in the deck. Artisan gets you your basics. We are playing a ton of tools, though. Like the glasses, I am still playing and Team Devo. We'll talk about that in a minute. So we are playing a Talent Store and an Artisan. Both stadiums are just really good to have in the deck. I am playing one Lost Vacuum, which is really good against the Ancient Booster Capsule, or just really good to get rid of any pest in play, like Bravery Charm or something for a Keldeo. But I'm also playing the TM Devo. Now, you might be like, why are you playing this? You already one-shot Charizard. Well, they can still attack you with Pidgeot, which you can't one-shot. And on top of that, you can use TM Devo against Shempow to get rid of their Max Calibers, because that's probably another tough matchup for this deck. Now, this deck is obviously more designed to take down big threats 
like the Charizard and Roaring Moon, but if you play against something else on the ladder and you need a different way to win the game, it is nice to have the TM Devo in the deck for that option. You could also play Crisis Punch in here, but in order to play Crisis Punch, you would have to use Double Turbo, meaning that you're probably going to go and unable to do the 280. You're going to be doing, what, 260 damage, which is still not bad damage regardless, but uh, if you want to try a Crisis Punch in the deck, you theoretically can. It's just a bit harder to pull off because you have to use it with Raihan or Double Turbo on the turn you want to use it. It's a little bit more trickier to pull that off. But let's go show off the 4 is 1 deck on live, and uh, let's show off what these cards can do. And, of course, in preparation for the Paradox versions of these cards. All right, again, in this game, with the 4 is 1 combo, we open up with some basics. Actually, not a bad hand. Guess we'll see what we're up against here, though, in this match. All right, what is it going to be? Roaring Moon. All right, this is obviously one of our best matchups, so I'm happy to see it. And we actually open up with a pretty solid amount of cards i honestly may just pass here because like now nah, we'll we'll still probably want to play the great ball grab terrakion we can fill up our bench here with everything or we can just wait a turn kind of down to wait yeah i mean we can't really do much so i might as well just we'll wait a turn we'll wait a turn and then next turn, we'll Nest Ball for the Cobalion and the Keldeo. Yeah. Because they could knock me out turn one, knock out one of those Pokemon, and then I can't do the max damage. We have, like, basically guaranteed knockout here. So we'll just hold the hand, I think. As long as we can hit an energy next turn, we should be able to attack with the Verizian. And the Roaring Moon matchup for a deck like this, pretty straightforward stuff. We just want to make sure we are attacking every turn with four as one and attacking for weakness is going to be very big. They do get the Moltres with the Forest Seal on. That's pretty good. They have to play the Forest Seal Stone, though, probably to get a Battle VIP pass here, I imagine. They do lose a boss and an Ancient Booster Capsule off that Ultra Ball. So there are some good cards in the discard pile already. And there is the Battle VIP. Probably going to get Mew plus Squawkabilly, I imagine. And uh, we'll see if they're able to knock me out. One nice thing is Verizian... Um, has 110 HP, so it's actually a little awkward for the Roaring Moon. They have to claim a Storm of the Stadium in play. I just wanted to note that. They do get an Ancient Booster Capsule on again, though. That's their second one. And they have a Switch card. Oh, that's a pretty good hand. Mm, that's pretty good. They had almost everything they need here to get out of the active spot. And they have a Heavy Ball. Does fail, though. No second Roaring Moon today. Ooh, they have an Earthen Vessel. But... Oh, if they prize check, they actually would have been able to energy switch to the Roaring Moon. Ooh. Are they going to attack with Moltres? I think they're going Moltres here, which is interesting. Okay, I'm fine with that. They haven't played a supporter yet. They can easily get a Professor Sada. They need a Dark Patch here, and there it is. It looks like they are... They're going in with Moltres. That's fine with me. I can knock that out pretty easily, I would say. There's another Battle VIP grabbing another Roaring Moon. Sure. Why not? Yeah, it's fine. We have a pretty good hand. As long as we do not whiff an energy next turn off of this Professor's Research, we should be able to knock out Moltres. I don't know if I prized any of my pieces, but as long as there's nothing prized, shouldn't be a big deal. Should be able to easily knock out Moltres. Is there any other shenanigans here? I don't see any catchers. All right, that's just going to be a knockout, and we can respond with another attack from the Verizian here, which is pretty good. So we'll see if we top deck here. If anything good wants to come into my hand, that'd be nice. Iono... Okay, so yeah, we got Cobalion and we got Keldeo. The squad is in the deck. Good to know. All right, we'll grab these guys. Glasses. Research. Here we go. All right, we got the knockout. We got another Verizian for next turn, so we can bench this. We might as well attach the double... No, the water, so we can Ryan next turn. We got Vacuum too. Let's take a knockout. I kind of want to play the Lost Vacuum. To try to get rid of the Ancient Booster Capsule. Uh, we might not even need to get rid of that, though. But it is nice to... Well, actually, we do probably want to get rid of that. Yeah, we'll, we'll eventually get rid of it. We have a pretty good hand for next turn. We can Raihan and attach to Keldeo. Kind of charge up Keldeo quietly in the background. That's one of the things this deck does have the ability to do. All right, they do have Concealed here. We'll see if they can get rid of my hand. They do need to get another Moltres back out. Because uh, now they lost one of their Energy Acceleration Systems with the Moltres falling... To a pretty easy knockout from Verizian here. And now my opponent needs to get the... Uh, they need to find Sadas and stuff. Because, like, without Moltres, the moons are harder to charge up. I mean, they can go double Dark Patch attach, but I mean, they've already used a Dark Patch. You know, there's no Pokestop in play. They also need a Pokestop. They definitely do not want to be frenzy gouging my Verizian. 
free town store bet there's dark patch all right they did have one but will it be enough though is going to be the main question here probably not but you never know okay they have five cards in hand do they have anything else going for them right now hmm Maybe could have played Great Ball last turn to get Bib Barrel, but I'm not really concerned about getting Bib Barrel just yet. No, they just have the research. And yep, they lose double energy switch. Yeah, they're running out of energy acceleration. My opponent needs to get a... What's their last energy switch, right? No, they have one. They need to get an energy switch or a dark patch energy attachment off of this research. And they didn't play a Pokey Stop down, so they're actually... Oh, well, never mind. They hit the dark patch anyways. I was going to say, if they don't get it, we are chilling. But unfortunately, my opponent gets it anyways. All right, doesn't matter. The town store is probably going to get bumped, but we are able to kill the Roaring Moon here with Fora's one. So that's kind of cool. So the Roaring Moon is going to get knocked out here uh, with the Cobalion and the Lost Vacuum. We don't even need the... T yeah, because the town store is getting discarded, obviously, right? So we're not going to be able to get super effective glasses, but it's all good. This <laughs> this uh, nice uh, deck does beat Moon pretty effectively, and we're about to show off... The power of the deck here in this situation. So let's go Verizian, draw for turn. Nice ball. Okay. We don't really even need another Verizian for next turn because we already kind of have stuff. So let's Great Ball first. There's Bibberol. We will take that. Go ahead and bench that. And then we can Raihan, the water, onto Verizian. And I'll grab... I don't want, like, a dead card. I could vacuum away the water energy, I guess. No, I need that for Keldeo. I'm trying to think. What do we want to get rid of this? I guess it doesn't really matter. We can just get rid of, like, Jirachi. Sure. I don't think this really matters. Because we can do this. We can bench Keldeo. We have game in hand next turn. So. And we can vacuum. Get rid of the Jirachi. Get rid of this Ancient Booster Capsule so that Verizian does knock them out. We can Nest Ball for the other... Verizian. We do have one of each of the other guys in the deck, the swords, so it's all good. And we'll Bibro for two. We got Super Rod. Uh, yeah, we can play that. No reason not to. Get back. I mean, get back one Verizian. No, we'll get, eh, I don't want to see that. I, I, if I get Iona, I want to draw two. I'll just get one back. It's fine. We already have one in play. It's not a big deal. And we'll knock him out for 240 damage thanks to the Lost Vacuum. Bye-bye, Ancient Booster Capsule. Not today. And we have game in hand. We either are going to most likely win the game with Verizian here, or we're going to win the game with Keldeo on the active. Or we're going to knock out the Moltres, because it's nice to have that damage boost from Justified. So if my opponent does not Iono me here, we do have a game in hand with the Verizian or the Keldeo on my opponent's bench. So we'll see what they end up doing. They have to Iono me. And even if they Iono me, I'm still probably going to win with 4 as 1 anyways. They do find a pal pad. They do lose a Sada, though. I see they have hand disruption. And even if they do, I can always get another Gust. I mean, it's very unlikely my opponent can win. They are also extremely far behind at this point, thanks to us just easily KOing whatever's in the active with Verizian. Verizian just destroys Roaring Moon. And it's about to, you know, Iron Leaves is about to destroy Roaring Moon and Charizard once again. So, yo, these Verizians, they're all they're all going up, man. Ver put stock in Verizian right now. Because both Verizian and Iron Leaves are put in work. Can my opponent even attack me this turn? They put back double boss? Okay, sure. I, mean, I have an S-Ball in hand, so they kill Keldeo. I have another Keldeo anyways. There's another energy switch. They were able to find it. Oh, they're going to go squawk a Billy. And now I just win the game with Keldeo, right? Because Keldeo just does enough to knock it out. So we do... Yeah, that's, that's game. That's all my opponent can do. And unfortunately for them... It is not enough because we can retreat into Keldeo. I also had game with boss, but this is cooler. We get to use the Keldeo as one of our attackers. It's not just the Verizian show. We get to show off the power of Keldeo, and that is the dub against my opponent's moon deck. As you can see, this deck kind of destroys Roaring Moon thanks to Verizian and Cobalion basically comboing together for a pretty easy like way to KO all these dark Pokemon. All right, we're up against Charizard. Probably the second best matchup behind Roaring Moon, obviously. And thankfully, we have a pretty good start. We can grab Keldeo. We got the Terrakian in the deck and stuff. Cobalion. All the Pokemon are in there. We can even get an energy on Keldeo. We can just pass. This is a really good hand. We can take a turn one KO. The nice thing about actually knocking it, assuming they don't retreat in a Rodon, but the nice thing about taking a prize early on against Charizard is, ooh, free Artisan. Don't mind if I do. 
So like I was saying, the nice thing about taking a knockout on a one prizer early on is if they go Radiant Charizard in the late game, you can knock that out with Keldeo. Because ideally, you just go knock out two Charizards, right? And then your opponent will at some point Radiant Zard you to try to even the prize trade. But when you have the uh, one prize early on, it's good. They did Iono me into stuff. I mean, I'm probably just going to research. Yeah, screw it. Let's research this hand away. They found the battle VIP. There it is. There she is. Hmm. It's fine. We go Great Ball Research. I mean, I could Iono, I guess. I don't know. Do I want to Iono? We'll see what the Great Ball gives me. Oh, they got a Super Rod. Okay, I definitely like just researching. I was going to say, if the Mew didn't get anything, we can just research. Or if I draw an energy, I can just knock out the Charmander. Okay. All right. Never mind. We're going to go for the knockout on the Charmander. Okay. Got bibs. There we go. And we're gonna yoink. Yeah, we're gonna yoink Charmander here. I think. Well, Artisan for Terrakian. We're just gonna find an energy. Hmm. All right. Let's go for it. This is kind of risky because if I whiff it, it's like kind of cringe. I might bibro first just to play it safe because I want to make sure we at least take a prize this turn. And we whiffed. All right. We are going to... I'm just going to research. I am losing two gusting cards, so... We weren't going to get the energy anyways. Look at that. We had a long ways to go. Okay. That's fine. I mean, it would have been so nice to kill Charmander there, but I think it was better to play it safe, because if I whiff, then my opponent... It's like, basically, I want to make sure I'm taking a prize every turn, if possible. And plus, I want to make sure that if they do go Radiant Zard, it's not going to be as effective, because I've already taken a, a one prize route early on in the game. Obviously, killing the Charmander there would have been insane for us, and it would have been really good, but it is what it is. Because then, if they go into Rodom, I can just retreat into Keldeo, knock out Rodom. Because no matter what, I would have gotten two prizes before they got a Charizard set up, most likely, but it is what it is. It's unfortunate on our end. We had to lose Double Gust, which is also pretty annoying. Um, we have one boss left in the deck. That might be more than enough to win the game, though. Plus, they're putting two Pokemon down that are both very easy to kill with Keldeo, so I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. We just Iono next turn, and we just got to get super effective glasses to knock this out. Or Defiance Band, double Cobalion, right? We'll see. Yeah, would have been good to KO that Charmander, but it's fine. We can Iono next turn, see where it takes us. My opponent does have the Pidgeot here, getting Rare Candy Zard, obviously. Can they get a Charmander down? I did get rid of that Artisan on purpose, so we'll see if they get a Charmander out here and... Uh, and get that thing loaded up. We'll see what's up. Even if it with the KO, it's not a big deal. If I with the KO, it gives me an option. Maybe go like Gus Pidgeot hit it and then TM Devo for two prizes on these two Pokemon at some point. Ooh, a Charmeleon gets discarded. They could get Radiant Zard, but I have Keldeo in play. So, yeah. As long as I have a Keldeo in play, we kind of threaten the Radiant Zard. I just make sure I have an energy in play at all times. I think I'm chilling. Yeah, they got the Super Rod here. I do have to Iono them, but they have a Pidgeot in play. It literally doesn't matter. Give them six new cards shouldn't really make a difference because I have, I have to Iona them regardless. It shan't matter too much. If worse comes to worse, I can two-shot this with Keldeo for Zian 2. Um, Nest Ball. You can thin out a Verzian from the deck just to have a better chance of drawing into a better card off the Iono. Alright, let's we'll see what the Iono gives me. Anything good? Nice! We got the knockout. Sick. We hit it. We got glasses. We got him. We got a Raihan. We got the whole squad, bro. And our prizes aren't too bad. All right, we're chilling. Nice. What do we draw? Okay. Four is one. Sayonara, Charizard. You're dead. All thanks to the help of Cobalion and glasses. Look at that. All right, we'll take the bottom prizes. Double Turbo and Artisan are pretty good prizes, if you ask me. All right. I guess Super I would have been a little bit better to grab there, but... Yeah. I don't want to put an Artisan down right away. They have Lost City. That could be a problem for us. Mainly on the, the Cobalion and Trakian. I mean, we have three Keldeo and four Verizian, but just in case they're going after the bench specifically. They have to chain another Charizard, which they should be able to do. And then we can knock out Charizard and return here with the Raihan. Assuming, okay... Glasses is in there, right? Am I trolling? Was it prized? Actually, now I'm, dude, now I'm drawing a blank. I can't remember what's prized. Wait, hold on. 
Yo, does the game log help me out? Like, okay, I actually forget what's prize now. Ooh, it doesn't tell me crap. Okay, I think the other super effective glasses is in the deck. I actually can't remember, but if it's not, whatever. <laughs> it's, we're so far ahead now, it doesn't really matter, but we'll see. I could go Keldeo if I drop boss, we can knock out. Man, they're powering up Pidgeot. That's fine. Okay, what's our top deck? DTE. Okay, grip ball. And then we'll fail it. Ultra Ball. Uh, we can get rid of one DTE and Ultra Ball. I mean, I kind of want to keep the Ultra Ball for next turn. But I kind of want to thin. I can also check to see. Yeah, Glasses was in the deck. I, I literally like drew a blank and couldn't remember all my prizes. Uh, but thankfully it's in there, so it doesn't matter. We just kind of checkmate them. I maybe could have played the Bibberol first, but we can draw three cards. Basically, we just need boss for next turn and we win. Which I guess I could have Bibberol got glasses and did that anyways. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Should I... What if they get a Lost City? I am down... Oh, I still have two stadiums in the deck, right? Eh, yeah, screw it. Okay, maybe I should have Bibberol before the Ryan then. If I was going to play the Artisan, whatever. It's fine. We still have a lot of time to win anyways. Even if we don't get boss next turn, we still have tons of time to win. And I do play TM Devo, which could win us the game too. Two prizes? What do you got? Raw and Ultra Ball. We might get Ionoed here, obviously. They could Iono me, which would be fine. If I get Ionoed, I can just go ahead and hit a boss off the Iono, maybe. Okay, they do Super Rod here. We're gonna put back the Charmanders, probably. I can't knock out another Charizard in one hit, but this is where like we either go Team Devo or we just win in the game with the boss's order. They could boss my Keldeo here, I guess, with Pidgeot. If they have an energy in their hand or one of the two combo pieces to pull that off. No Radiant Zard. Alright, it must be prized. Not that it really is a good attacker. I think at this point they probably need to attack me with a two prizer, actually. And that's why taking that early prize was so good. That's why I played it safe to go for the Mew KO, just in case. And as you can see, it didn't matter. Alright, let's see if they have anything here. Okay, there we go. Iono's good. That does get me closer to getting the boss. And I'm glad I didn't Ryan for it. That's not boss. Could bench that Bidoof, though, and just go Keldeo. It's probably what I might do. Ooh, wow. What the fudge? They hit the counter catcher off that? Okay, that's pretty annoying. Good thing we got another Bidoof in hand. Jeez. Oh, they're going to instant charge. Oh, so they whiff the energy, though. Okay, good. That's actually pretty good that they hit that. All right, let's see we draw. We got the DTE. Let's go. Still have one DT left. I think the other DT might... Is it our last prize? Actually, it might be. This is actually an interesting dilemma. Do I go Verizian or Keldeo? Because I have another Keldeo in hand. Because I can still win the game with a boss. I think I just go Verizian. I mean, poke for 90. Because we're still going to be able to knock out Pidgeot with TM Devo, right? So, it's fine. We just win the game with TM Devo. Let's go Verizian. Because we can still, we either draw boss or we draw um, TM Devo to win this game. So, I think it's correct to go with these two. Now they can knock out my Pidgeot, or my Bibro maybe. But, like, no, nah, I don't think they're going to do that. Because I can two-shot this, right? Yeah, we just knocked this out with Keldeo. They actually have to go Charizard this turn. Or else I do just knock out Pidgeot with Keldeo. Or they can boss my Keldeo. Then I just bench on their Keldeo anyways. No, they're going to Iono again. That is fine with me. Unless they're playing double counter catcher. Which I doubt they are, but you never know. Oh, we win. They don't even care if they kill Bibberol. We got the Team Devo anyways. All right, that's game. They go to the stadium. Doesn't really matter. We got the dub. So it didn't matter. They knocked me out with Pidgeot. Yeah, they had to go Charizard there because I just win the game with Keldeo, right? Yeah, okay, cool, cool. It worked out all the same. As you can see, Charizard, not a bad matchup for this deck. And as you are about to see, we can just take them out with Keldeo here instead of even needing the TM at Devolution. But there you go. That's the Zard matchup. Last prize, what was it? It was water. Okay, my... I don't know. I <laughs> I, I heavy balled and forgot my prizes were. That's why people write down notes when they uh, when they play this game. And there you have it. As you can see, Charizard, Ruin Moon. Not bad matchups for this deck whatsoever. All right, we're going first against Lost Box. We actually opened up with a really good hand. Jeez, we got like every single Pokemon we need. All right, we'll just bench everything here, I guess. Uh... 
Yeah, we'll grab Terrakian, sure. I think we literally just bench everything, right? Screw it, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's pretty funny. I mean, hey, you know, sometimes you just have hands like that. It, it, it is what it is. Now, my opponent is playing a Lost Zone deck. Question is, is it Giratina or is it something else? We shall see. Unfortunately, it's Giratina. Unfortunately, Verizian can't one-shot Cramorant, which is kind of a problem. Cramorant can one-shot us, which kind of sucks. We want to attack with Keldeo if possible. And we do need to get Jirachi in play, I guess. But honestly, Jirachi might not be super relevant other than being able to kill my Bibberol, which I guess could be a problem. They lost on Reading Greninja. Oh, wow. That's probably a Colrus Greninja Flower Select. It's probably what that was if I had to take a guess. Hmm. All right, we'll see what they got. Ooh, Boss and... Energy, all right. Boss going bye-bye could be good. Can they get a turn one cram this turn? If they have a jet energy or a switch energy, they got it. They do not get it, and that's good. What's our top deck? That's annoying. I have to get rid of that. That sucks, because I want to make sure I get energy on Keldeo and stuff. Not getting energy turn one is kind of annoying, because I want to attach energy, but we got to go for the bibs here and see what we got. Oof, that's a lot of... Uh... It's a lot of Verizians. All right, we got a Defiance Band. Might as well put that there. Losing two Verizians feels kind of bad. All just for an energy attachment. Unfortunate. All right, it is what it is. All right, we got Boston switching the prizes. All right, well, we can kill their Comfy here with the Verizian. Like I said, we can't one-shot Cram, which is a little annoying. Um, we don't have a Raihan in hand either, so I can't put Raihan on the thing. I <laughs> get a heavy ball back. Not even terrible. I did prize Mythical Balion, so I mean, it's not the worst card. We could have gotten. If I can draw a Raihan, we can take a KO on the Cram with the Keldeo. I think we're probably just going to have to go for a boss on Comfy this turn or something. Or I might just boss Giratina and just punch it with 4 as 1. We'll see what's up. Because we're definitely getting KO'd by Cram this turn, obviously. That's definitely happening. The Cram will knock me out. And I'll see if we can beat Giratina. The, the scary thing about this matchup really is just like Cramorant's kind of a problem. Not really concerned about Sableye as much, but Cram's kind of annoying because it can just one-shot me, and I can't KO it unless I go Keldeo, but we are behind an energy attachment. I need a Raihan. If I can get a Raihan here, then we can attack with Keldeo and knock out the Giratina. I do need to find a Super Rod now, though. I am down two Verizian, and when this guy gets knocked out, I'm going to be down three Verizian, which is not great. I'm not a fan. We'll see what's up, though. I got another Flower Select. Yeah, I don't know. Do I KO Comfy or do I boss Giratina? I don't know. I might just Iono and just attack with... I mean, I'm not behind the prize trade, though. Bossing Giratina seems like the best play to make. Or, like, Countercatcher Giratina. I don't know. We'll see we draw. I think I have to go for the Iono. I can't kill the Cram, which is annoying. We should play a Spongy Gloves in the deck. Honestly, it's not even a bad idea. Spongy Gloves to one-shot Cramorant with Verzian. Seems kind of good. Like, I wouldn't mind just bringing in the Giratina and getting damage on it. We have to two-shot it anyways, right? If I can get a Raihan here, we're chilling. I could promote the Keldeo and risk it, which is a little tempting. Because I can get a Raihan. We can knock out the Cramorant with Keldeo, which would be ideal in this scenario. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I don't know. I'm going to go for the risk, I think. I think it's worth it. We got Jirachi. I think we're going to have to get rid of some of the cards in our hand, though. The Raihans are in there, obviously. And if we do whiff it, it's, like, kind of annoying. It's not really the end of the world, because I can always Iono. So I'm going to go Bibberol for two. We whiffed it. All right. We do force him to attack with Giratina here, at least, which is good. All right. Yeah, whiffing kind of sucks. Not much I can do. Um, Pass. But now we can kill with Verizian, though, right? We can 4 as 1, knock out the Cramorant. So it's not that bad. It does suck, obviously. We whiffed. We had to burn another DT. It's not great. My opponent is evolving all their Giratinas, though, which is honestly fine with me. Because, like, I guess we can knock them out with Keldeo a bit easier, but I'm fine with them evolving their uh, Giratinas. All right. There's no way they're going to spit me, right? Oh, they got a chorus. We'll see if they can if they go Giratina. But they have to lost impact, right? Well, I guess they could go into 
comfy, but they have to go back in a Tina too. They have to find like two switching cards here to knock me out with a Star Requiem. That's what I'm thinking they might do. Escape rope and nest ball gets burned. We're tied on prizes, so they can't do counter catcher. So they can't just counter catcher for Zine or Jirachi. So what are they doing? Escape rope. It's fine. We'll give them... Mm, I don't know if a way to move. They could just spit into my track in this turn. I could just give them the Verizium, but then I need to find Super Rod. I'll skim the track in. It's fine. Honestly, going Jirachi might have been okay, too. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I like this, because I can just spit my track in here and just not KO it. I mean, that doesn't really do anything for them, though, because they can't really do Sableye, but I don't know. I don't know if I like this play, to be honest. They're at 10 now. They can knock out Tracky in here. Are they going for it, though? What's their play? What's their angle here? Yeah, I got to find Super Rod ASAP. That's uh, definitely what we got to be looking for next, I think. Jet? Yeah, they're just going to cram, which I'm fine with. Because, like, they're not knocking out the Terrakian. So if I just got to switch, it kind of works out. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know. It was tempting to go Jirachi. Like, going Jirachi there might have been bad, but I don't want to, like, lose my Bibberol, so. All right, what do we top deck? Another water. I was going to research. We whiff a switching card. Rip. So now Trakian is stuck in the active. Uh, I could Ultra Ball here. Might just pass. It's fine. I don't know. That feels kind of bad, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. We got punished, but I think it was fine to go Trakian. Like, either I give him a prize or I don't. I think it was worth the risk to just not give him a prize. And unfortunately, the risk did not pay off as we whiffed. It's fine, though. We have Counter Catcher. We go Counter Catcher Kelio, attack Giratina. Question is, do they have a boss? No, they have a Clara. They're playing Clara in their deck. Okay, that's a bit of an interesting card to see. Mm hmm. Okay, sure. So I think I just go Keldeo, right? Yeah, going Keldeo here seems okay. And I can actually power up another Keldeo. What I kind of want to do is I want to counter catch her Giratina and go Keldeo. That might be the plan. Yeah, I kind of like that. Uh, I could kill the Sableye, though, with Keldeo. Hmm. I do want to stay behind in the prize trade now to abuse the uh, thing. Oh, no. Don't tell me they're... Dude, there's a Jirachi in play. No way. Did they actually just try to kill my... Oh, my God. No shot. But now I'm stuck in the active still. Why did they do that? No. <laughs> That's actually kind of bad for me. I'm not going to lie. Oh, no, dude. Why did they do that? That's not good for me because now I can't move out of the active spot. What? No shot, bro, did that. I, I have to pass. I could Ultra Ball, but every card in the hand is, like, kind of good, apart from maybe the Town Store and the TM Devo, but I can't really thin the hand down anyways, so I can't believe they did that, bro. I had a Jirachi in play. Why did you do that? Do they have a boss in hand? That's actually pretty annoying. Okay, with Verizian here, I guess. Nope, they have an Iono. Okay, well, there goes that. That's a pretty annoying Iono. You love to see Giratina play an Iono. That's a card you don't like to see. Okay, well, thankfully, it gave me an okay hand. We got Super Odd Water. All right, we just go Verizian, I guess. I think that's the plan. Yeah, I guess we just go Verizian. Knock out the Cram. We can still win this game. I mean, we still have to do with these Giratinas, though. We do have TM Devo, which could help. If I had Defiance Man on Keldeo, it would be a bit easier, though. Go to our top deck. Okay, that's good. Do I really want to give him an Artisan, though? Not really. Okay, we're just going to Super Rod. Get back. Terrakian, Verizian, Verizian. And then I'll Nest Ball. Tempted just a Bibberol. We can hold on to Keldeo. No, I think we should research. Doesn't matter. We'll just research. Okay. We do find Counter Catcher. I could go around the cram, but I feel like if I'm Counter Catching, I'd rather use Keldeo. So I'm just going to four as one here. We can go Iono Counter Catcher next turn. I kind of want to bring in the other Giratina here, which is kind of what I'm thinking. All right, let's see what our prize is. Okay, we got Boss. If I had a second Defiance Band, we could hit the Giratina with four as one 
And then we can TM Devo knock it out. I mean, it's going to be a close game, but we'll see what's up. I think an Iono would be good. They can go Sableye, kill my Verizian. Verizian having 110 HP is honestly a bit of a problem for this deck. <laughs> it's not great. It's not great. Verizian needs more health. It needs more health. Ooh, they boss. They're going to kill my Jirachi? They are going to kill my Jirachi. I'm fine with that. I really need the Jirachi anymore anyways. I'm kind of surprised they're doing this, actually. Now I do have to kill the active, I guess. But that's fine. I'm kind of surprised they're killing my Jirachi here. Hmm. I'm okay with that. Still have another Rod in the deck, but... Now I can go Iono Knockout. Even if they go Sableye, it's not a big deal. Because everything on board is, like, super bulky, right? I guess I could, like, Roxanne, Sableye, Kale, Bibberol. But I'm going to Iono here, so we might be okay. Do I want to board lock myself, though? Maybe I definitely have to kill Sableye, right? Yeah. Do I just Iono? Bench Frizian? Sure. Ben Frizzy and Iono seems okay. I did board lock myself, but my opponent's most likely going to get a prize next turn. I could try to win the game by going around the Giratina, maybe. That could work, I guess. We'll... Uh, I could Super Rod here. Yeah, it's probably Super Rod. And then Bibberol. That's probably the correct order. They don't have any boss left, which is good. There's Counter Catcher. Okay, cool. Almost well, knockout. We'll see if they have the resources to win. They can take two more knockouts of the Giratina. Ah, uh, we'll see, man. It is tough that we can't one-shot a Giratina. That's, like, the only thing that makes this matchup tricky. And I th think we're probably still going to lose, but we'll see. My thought process is to just gust three times. That might be enough to win the game. But they need to bench another low HP basic, which I imagine they will do. Did I own them into a play where they can go Kramer Sableye? No, they I got a Colrus. What? They still hit a Colrus off that. Iono sucks, bro. Actually, a bad card. Yeah, I'm going around the Giratina. Might be my only win con. If I hit the Giratina here... No, I... Yeah, I gotta go around the Giratina. I think I have to just gust three times. I don't think I could win otherwise. So, yeah, I think we're just gonna go around the Giratina here. All right. We can bench... Go Keldeo this turn. And, yeah. We'll see what our top deck is. Town Store... I think we still lose the prize trade, though, right? I don't think it's enough. Now, let me play the town store. Let me see what I got in the deck. I mean, yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to win, unfortunately. The only way... I, I It was better to maybe boss there, then. Countercatcher Iono maybe could have gave me a comeback out. Maybe I should have saved that, actually. Yeah. It might have been better to save the counter catcher to go around the Giratina. I don't have an Iono, but the Iono's prize. If I get Iono off the prizes, Iono counter catcher. Then hopefully they can't attack. I think, yeah, that's not great. We'll see, though. I mean, they have to do lost impact, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Do I need anything here? Like, what do I, what do I take? I'll take that, sure. Just in case. I don't know. I think we're probably going to lose. Because my opponent... They just need two knockouts to win. Yeah, my win con probably would have been Iono Countercatcher. So I should have... And I didn't get Iono anyway. So I guess it didn't matter. If, if I had an Iono, I could have went Iono Countercatcher. But I think we're just going to fall short of a dub here, unfortunately. I don't think it's enough. Maybe if we took the KO... I think if we took the KO on the turn that we went Teraki and I think we actually had a chance of winning the game. That was my win con, right? So I have to just hit the active and hope they can't win, I guess. I guess that's my only play. If I had an Iono, we might have had a shot of winning the game. Yeah, we're... The Iono being our last prize kind of killed us. Yeah, if I had an Iono here, there was a chance. It's definitely a game, though. They definitely have an out in their hand to win. I could have went Iono to one, knock out the active, and we maybe could have won the game. But I think we're just going to fall short, unfortunately. It's kind of the issue with this deck. Its damage output is not great, and being able to be killed by Kram is not great. But we tried. It's going to be an L here, though, unless my opponent somehow doesn't have a way to attack. I'd be very shocked. Yeah, they definitely got energy in the deck. They just need N energy. 
because they can retreat, yeah. The win con was definitely to go Iono. The win con definitely would have been to Iono there. If we had Iono to one, attack the active, and they whiff, we might have had a chance of winning the game. So we were, like, basically one prize. We were one prize behind the entire game, unfortunately. There you have it, folks. That is the four as one deck in action. As you can see, you got a pretty good matchup against both Charizard and and Roaring Moon in preparation for the release of the Paradox Pokemon, the Paradox Sword of Justice Pokemon, the Iron Leaves, the Iron Boulder, and the Iron Crown EX. Really cool stuff. I thought it was a cool idea to try this deck out. It's actually probably the best time to play a deck like this right now anyways because of how popular Roaring Moon is and both Charizard are in our current format, especially on the TCG Live ladder. I think I've already made any changes to the deck. Probably a second Defiance Band would be nice. You saw there. Keldeo almost could have won us a game with a two-shot on a Giratina with TM and Devolution. Um, he came down to just missing an attack for one turn. It is what it is. You could play another Switch in the deck, I guess. I don't know what you would cut, though. Um, but I did like the deck. It's a lot of fun to play, and being able to slay Pokemon with Virizion, Keldeo are pretty sick. And that'll be for me on the deck. If you enjoyed the video, on at my 4 is 1 deck. Leave a like if you're new to the channel. Subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 54,000 subscribers, of course, with Temporal Forces coming out later this week on Thursday. I cannot wait to get into the content grind, meaning there's going to be a lot of streams and a lot of daily content a lot of new decks i can't wait for it all hope y'all are excited too and if you're going to get any temporal forces codes get them at card cabin and use code ldf at the checkout check out my twitch my twitter my discord down below and the second youtube channel for some extra content and i'll catch y'all in another video Bye bye